Okay, it is July 18th and it is the middle of the summer. We're, we're at peak season right now. My goal this year was to get 10 nukes by the end of the season so that I could try and overwinter 10 nukes. That was, that was my goal. I have five resource hives with, you know, double, double nukes. So there's 10 nukes there. Right now I have six that have queens and I have four left over. And it's too late in the season now to do walkaway splits. So I ordered four new queens in the mail. And they just arrived, and today I'm gonna to make my splits, and then later tonight I'm gonna to introduce queens into those nukes. So I did a lot of reading about all different kinds of queens to try. We've, we've gone through the Russians, we've got a lot of Italians, the Carniolans I love, but I wanted to try something a little different with this round of queens. And instead of going with a specific breed, I went with a regional queen, a queen from the north. And I found hybrid queens that have overwintered in the north, north of me even, in Vermont, um, at a place called Singing Cedars Apiary. And I ordered four queens from them, and they're just a hybrid bee, kind of like what I'm, I'm growing here. Uh, they're Russian, Buckfast, Carniolan, Mutts. And uh, they've all overwintered, they're all from New England, and I got four hybrid queens, and I'm gonna try them here in my apiary. So these are the queens that I ordered. They came, they just came from Vermont. They were shipped yesterday. They arrived today in Massachusetts. And I'm gonna just open them up right now and just make sure they're alive before I make my splits. Never, I've never ordered bees in the mail before, so this is my very first time. Oh, okay, it's a box in a box. So I know if I open these up, the, bee, the, uh, the attendants are probably gonna fly out, but I just wanna make sure the queens are alive. One, two, three, four. Yep, looks like four living queens in there. So I'm just gonna leave them in there for another few hours while I go make my splits. Okay, the Cornelia Hive. I'm looking for frames that I can steal from here to make splits from. I mean, Queen is doing great. The, the laying pattern's great, everything looks really nice. Queen's right here, she's up top. And she is, she's got this thing full. This is, uh, she's really filling this hive. This hive's gonna explode. So I think I'm gonna take half these frames out of here and just make them a single deep. Just condense them down to a single deep with the supers and let them go into fall like that because they're gonna explode in population. So I'm gonna take these frames here and move them to nukes. Cornelia is now a single deep and it's not even Cornelia, it's Cornelia's daughter. So Cornelia's daughter is now in a single deep. Hopefully they feel a little more Condensed. There's a ton of brood in here. Queen is laying up a storm. They're gonna have double supers on here. Okay, this hive is gonna be slamming in a couple of weeks when all that brood hatches. Ready for the fall flow. All is good. Okay, checking on the back left hive here. Last time I was in here, it was undetermined if they were queen right. So they may need one of those queens. And this hive has had all summer and you know they they've they're up into a super but there's not much going on up here so they've just never built up so this queen has been kind of a dud all summer long tiny patch of brood we got emerging brood but i don't see new eggs yet queen cups emerging brood queen cups these bees might be looking for a new queen. There's so many drones in this hive, it's crazy. Okay, I don't see evidence of a queen anywhere. I see a ton of emerged queen cells, like maybe they swarmed or something, but there's a lot of bees in here, so the population is up. No, <clears throat> no evidence of a laying queen in over, over a couple weeks now. Like, I think this may have been a swarm gone wrong or something. I'm gonna give one of my new queens to this hive and see if they look like they want her. All right, I'm gonna put the queen in and see what they do. OK, 
Okay, we got a marked queen in there. Just got a pink dot. The first thing I'm going to do is just put it right on top and see what they do with her. If there's any love or if there's hate. interested in the candy. All right, definitely no aggression. I'm gonna put her in there. All right, I will check on them in a few days. Okay, this was the Balboa walkaway split that I made a week ago, where I put a queen that I that looked like a looked like a mated queen in here. So I want to see if, if she's still in here and how they're doing. Population is down. Doesn't look good. Oh, she is in there. All right. Well, the queen that I thought was a queen is still there. I do not see any brood. She's running around just like the other queen that was made in the Balboa Hive. So I think, I don't know, those queens just probably weren't very good, the Balboa queens that were made, because um, there's no evidence of any laying in here after a week. Any eggs? She didn't mate. There are no eggs. So that Balboa queen also did not work out. So in the Balboa Hive a week ago, I found a bunch of emerged queen cells, two queens. One of them I put over here, one I left over there. It seems like neither one of them in a week has made it or started to lay. So that's the news here. This hive is not queen right. This was part of the Cornelia Hive over here that I just took earlier today. I just took a bunch of bees and put them in here. So this side over here is Cornelia, and they need a queen, and they probably need a few more bees. Taking one more queen out of here. She's in there. Let's see what they say to her. They seem very interested. I'm going to get a few more bees to shake in here. Doing the uh, doing the test, the queen test, to see if they they just brush off easy or if they're sticking like Velcro, and yeah, they're they're coming right off. This is not ag aggressive. All right, I'm gonna put a few more bees into this side. This is also the Balboa side over here. I'm gonna shake a few from Balboa into Balboa. They need some more bees over here. Here's a drawn out frame with some bees on it. Just gonna put them right in here. So over here, there is a queen running around in there. I'm gonna give her another week to try and get mated and start laying. Okay, this is the same situation. This is the little split I made from the Cornelia hive earlier today. I'm hoping they didn't all fly away. Yeah, they need some bees. Not a lot of bees left. First thing I'm gonna do is give them a queen.
Okay, they need some more bees. Okay, I'm gonna let them hang out for a couple minutes with that new with that queen there. And move down and do the last queen. This is the Carniolan hive. I did a walk away Carniolan split and they made a queen. She looked great. Came back a little later. That queen was missing and they had queen cells. So I let those go. This is about three, four weeks ago. Let those queen cells go. Came back about a week ago, saw another queen. Thought, okay, that that worked. They did it a second time. So then I left, I waited for a week, came back today to make sure they were queen right. There was no queen and there were more queen cells in there, capped queen cells. So I ripped those off and I'm going to just give them a queen because they're not having any luck making a queen. I went through the hive. I did not see any other queens. There's no eggs. I'm just going to put a queen in here and see what they do. They are very interested in this queen. The fanning has begun. Wow, the hive just got really loud. Yeah, they've been queenless for a while. Queen's inside there. And they're all over her. And did you hear how loud? Look, listen how loud the hive is right now. They're definitely, definitely interested in her. Closing up. Okay, and now the big picture of the nukes. As of July 18th, this is a Balboa walkaway where I found a queen, put her in here. She has not started laying yet. It's been almost two weeks, so I'm hoping that she gets mated and starts laying. She's in there, there's population, definitely a queen, but she's not laying yet. So I'm gonna give her one more week. This is uh, Cornelia Frames from this morning with a singing cedar apiary queen introduced. She's in her cage. Down here we have the Carniolan walkaway split, which is just pounding, just like totally rocking, doing great in here. This is also a Cornelia split with a singing cedars queen. And here we have an Adrian queen cell. She's down here. Still not filling out those four frames, but definitely laying, definitely queen right. Queen Cornelia is filling two, two nukes here, so eight frames. This is an empty nuke. There's nothing in here. Here we have the Carniolan walkaway split that has been through now two rounds of queen cells. They were on their third round of queen cells. I ripped those out and gave them a singing cedars apiary queen and they seem to love her. And here we've got an Adrian queen cell, which last I checked had uh, eight frames, and Queen Adrian herself also eight frames. So we do have one empty nuke. So we have nine made up nukes. Uh, they're not all queen right yet, but they're getting there. Now we have the back left hive that swarmed last fall, last September, she swarmed, but they left a queen cell, a queen was made and she made it through the winter. And I thought, great, we, we got, you know, she's through the winter, she's good, but all summer long, all we've got so far is one brood box and one super that's like kind of a quarter full. So she just, that queen never really took off. Uh, about three weeks ago or so, noticed I did not see a queen and there were queen cells in there. So they tried to make a new queen. It looks like something happened. Either she didn't come back or um, they swarmed. I don't really know what happened. But today they got a new Singing Cedars Apiary queen. The other thing we did today, we took the Cornelia Hive, which is actually Cornelia's daughter. This is the original Cornel Cornelia's back in a nuke. Cornelia's daughter is laying like crazy but I think that she was feeling honey bound because there were eight frames that were pretty packed uh, in the upper box. And I took that entire box out, put those frames in the back and made the nukes today. So she's down to a single brood box with a lot of eggs, a lot of, lot of brood. So 
once that brood all starts hatching out, they're going to be in prime force for the fall. So this, this hive is going to be booming in about a month, which is perfect for the goldenrod season. So Cornelia is great, doing great. So Balboa, they tried to make a new queen. They tried to replace Balboa. And I came in here a couple weeks ago and I noticed swarm cells. I let them, just let them go. I'm letting nature run its course with Balboa because they've always been survivors. Uh, a week ago, I came in here and noticed two queens. I took one, put it in a nuke, and I left one here, hoping that they would both go mate and we would have two Balboa, you know, laying queens. As of today, a week from when I separated them, neither one is laying. But because neither one is laying, I feel like maybe they're just, they, neither one has gone and mated yet. If one was laying and one wasn't, I think maybe there was a problem, but neither one is laying, so I think maybe it's just timing isn't there yet. So I left them alive, I didn't do anything. Again, letting nature go. Um, I did reduce them down to one brood box, got an excluder down here, put the old honey bound box up top so they can just kind of pull honey down if they need it or do whatever. These two supers are about 50% full and this is about 50% full. So there's a lot of honey in here, but it's kind of spread out. But the brood box is packed. They just, and there's a queen in there. So she just got a mate and get laying. So hopefully this week we got Balboa laying here, the other Balboa queen laying in that nuke, and the other queens come out of their cages and we have you know, basically 12, 21 queen right colonies here, which would be amazing. Uh, that'd be 12 full size and nine, nine nukes. So that'd be pretty awesome. Um, either way, we are heading into the dearth. The next month is gonna be pretty dry here, I think. And, uh, but the reserves are in. I'm going to take some honey off these hives, do some spinning, and, and give them back some empty frames to get ready for the fall. So that's the story. Thank you so much for watching. This is a long one. Talk to you later.